Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at bartenders who overheard conversations. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. His toe was in my butt. Um, I want to unhear this. <laughs> I don't want to hear this, what the heck? Man and woman is sitting at the bar. She starts crying and says, I just want us to have something special. The guy looked her dead in the eyes and said, We do have something special. We have sex. We are both married. Ten minutes later, they are making out. Wait, married, like, both married to different people or married to each other? I'm assuming married to different people. <laughs> That's why it's just, like, I want us to have something special. Well then, that escalated quick. A married couple in the 50s arguing how they're going to explain the fact they couldn't pay the remainder of the 3 million euro bill for a ferris wheel they'd ordered 18 months ago, already put a million deposit on, and whose collection was due at 8am the following morning. What? How much money do they have? <laughs> they already put a million dollars for the deposit? Wow. Um. <laughs> Ferris wheel. I wonder how they got to that decision though. Hey babe, let's get a Ferris wheel. Like what? Where? Put in the house or something? <laughs> put in the backyard? What? What's going on here? There were quite a few regulars I was fond of, but there was one in particular that I couldn't let my guard down around. He was off in some way and I immediately didn't trust him. Slightly older than middle age, he introduces himself and I get his drink, as you do. And after a bit, he starts on about his life. Wife left him near a decade ago with two little ones to raise on his own. Must have been rough, I say. Ah uh, yeah, but I've worked hard and done right by my kids. Well, cheers to that. Over time, I hear him tell the same story the same way to several others, most who had heard it many times before. One evening, he comes in later than usual. Hi, how you doing, I say, though I can tell he's in a foul mood. No harm, happens to the best of us. He sits near enough to the world with another gentleman I didn't see in there much. Other gent seemed to be having lady troubles and shifty regular had all the wrong answers. In a hushed and angry tone, he said he took care of his own problem 10 years ago and made sure no one would ever find her. What? I thought this was going to be like, um, um, um. I spoke with the owners of the bar about what I should do, asked if the cameras had maybe picked up the audio. They told me she was still alive and far, far away from him. Oh, thank gosh. I thought he actually, you know, you know, you know, <laughs> I thought he actually got rid of her. That's what I thought. Jeez, that's scary. Imagine listening to that conversation. <laughs> what? You know, like that's the advice. Someone is having lady problems and you're like, you know, just take care of it. Dude, you're kind of crazy. I witnessed a complete relationship between two women over the course of one night. They met early in the night. They were clearly into each other, very flirty. They danced and drank the night away. They started making out and then disappeared for some time. Next time I saw them, they were at each other's throats. No clue what happened, but it ended with one saying, I never want to see you again, then stormed out of the bar. After that night, I never saw either of them again. Wow, that was fast. What happened? <laughs> you know, they got together and then all of a sudden, I hate you so much. Bye. I once had to ask a woman to remove her infant from the bar top. She put them on the floor. I really don't miss bartending. Why would you bring an infant to a bar? What are you doing? So we used to have this regular that would come in with his wife every Tuesday and he'd always tip decent. And then he'd come in with his younger hotter neighbor the next day and tip real well. We could always hear him saying crap like, I'll leave my wife for you, etc. She was a regular as well and constantly flirting with other guys and she brought in her own men in on occasion. Wow, so you'd witness so much drama as a bartender, you know, every single day. That's crazy, yo. <laughs> So, if you're just hungry for some drama, just go bartending. You'd hear lots of crazy stories. Was sitting at a bar with a band. It was noisy and crowded. Some girl comes up next to where I was sitting and tells the bartender, Excuse me, but I just saw that guy right there put something in that girl's drink. I didn't see the guy she pointed to. Bartender turns around and said something. I suspect a code word to somebody and bam, 
Immediately, all the lights go on and the manager steps on stage, stops the band and makes the following announcement. Attention, we have a report that someone in this room possibly drugged a young lady's drink. We request that all women here immediately put down your drink and don't take another sip. We will replace your drink for free. If you are that young lady, we will notify you when you come to the bar. If anyone is feeling sick or weak, please let us know. Wow, lights stayed on. Band remained off for a long time, maybe an hour. Cheers from the crowd and nobody complained. Don't know what the guy did because I didn't know which guy it was. That place rocks. <gasps> That's amazing. Oh my gosh, what bar is this? <laughs> you know, this bar is actually amazing. That's a good place for sure, you know? You're gonna be safe there. That sounds so crazy though, you know? <laughs> All the lights just turned on like bam, bam, bam. I just wish they knew which guy it was and put him to shame, you know? And I hope the cops were called and he got arrested, seriously. You can't get a girl, so you have to put something in her drink, really. The craziest was when a man ordered a filet well done and refused to have a butterfly. That's like a 30 minute cook time. He ate it with ketchup. The second was two older guys celebrating one of them getting out of jail. Oh, <laughs> well, I hope he didn't do like crazy things, you know? Oh my gosh. I overheard a woman who worked in the ER explaining to her date about a time that she helped a couple who had been having sex and his private literally fractured inside her. It's a real thing. And let me tell you, that story was rough. <laughs> rough. <laughs> no, seriously, that's crazy. What the heck? Like, are they both out or like, do they both have to be in the hospital, like stuck together? <laughs> Yo, that's wild. While busting a table, the man at the adjacent booth was arguing with his wife or partner for cutting the bread wrong. Then you cut it yourself. One day, I was busy serving a large group, but the restaurant was mostly empty, and a guy behind me at the bar said, you wanna pet my parrot? My initial reaction was the same as if a stranger had just come up behind me and touched my shoulders. But when I turned around, it was really a guy with a parrot on his shoulder. The parrot's name was Bobby, and yes, both me and the bartender pet him. That did sound wrong though, you know? You wanna pet my parrot? <laughs> yeah, that's cute though. He brought his parrot to the bar, how cute. I don't know about you, but I just can't poop in a pink bathroom. <laughs> Why? The color of a bathroom affects the way that she can poop? <laughs> Funny. One day I had a guy that had just won a bunch of money on a horse race, like to the tune of $10,000. He was sober on arrival-ish, but kept ordering bottles of red wine. Anyway, he seemed fine until all of a sudden I was making a drink and I heard him talking to this couple at the bar. Guys, start sobbing. I'm an alcoholic. Nobody loves me. And aside from money, I've got nothing. I just want someone to hold me. Woman touches his shoulder. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that. You remind me so much of my son. Maybe you've had enough wine? Guy, face changes to weird joker smile. Haha, -ha, acting, you never suspected a thing. Woman, oh, you really got me good there. Forces a sad but caring face. What? I'll be, s <laughs> I'll be mad. <laughs> How do you do that? How do you play with someone's emotions, you know? This guy is crazy. Dude was full on crying, sobbing for at least three to five minutes before pretending it was all an act. No, but I do feel like deep down he needs someone. You know, I feel like deep down he's just lonely and he's trying to cover it up. I kind of feel bad. I still feel bad for him, but I'm just a bit mad that he lied to this woman because she was genuinely caring about him. Wow. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.